Uh, I could go on and on and give you accolades for the next 45 minutes, but you got something going on that people need to support you. You're a woman that supports people. You support community. Like I said, you're the voice of the people. You're doing some great work, and I always see your 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 um your social media posts and things of that nature. You're trying to get the word out about stuff that people don't really see, don't really hear about. And you guys had an incident that happened that that's kind of left you needing some help. Not needing, but the community needs to get behind and support it. It was a fire. And we need to put it out. Exactly. Right. Literally and figuratively. So tell us about what's going on and why people need to jump on board. Wow. So first of all, lately we've been hearing a lot of talk about the black maternal health crisis, right. um, which, of course, is about black women. Mm -hmm. And basically it states that black women are three times likely to die giving birth to their children mm -hmm. compared to white women, regardless of their income or education. Right. And this is listed up on the White House dot gov. Mm -hmm. Not only do we have the black maternal health health crisis that is an issue that's plaguing us we also have the overturning of roe v wade so mm -hmm. we know that there are going to be a lot of women in need of support and right. family services mm -hmm. so i said to myself what could be a solution to the black maternal health crisis and to you know the overturning of roe v wade how mm -hmm. can we be a resource to people in the community and in need mm -hmm. so i decided to start auntie angie's house right auntie angie's house was a nine bedroom nine bathroom oasis in the historic king district mm -hmm. right all about just keeping the dream alive right so we were going to go back to more natural ways of women giving birth because mm -hmm. when i think about big mama and mm -hmm. how she gave birth to my mom and all my aunties and my uncles it wasn't in the hospital mm -hmm. and it seems to me that something more sinister is going on if we were used to giving birth to 10 and 12 babies and right. now there's a fear of us dying giving birth to one mm -hmm. so i said maybe we need to get back to some more natural remedies how right. could we do that well we could start auntie angie's house we could provide a safe place for women and we could also bring in midwives mm -hmm. and doulas yeah also with the overturning of roe v wade i say you know what more babies are going to be coming into this world yeah and a lot of women that do make the choice to decide that they want to keep their babies sometimes they just need a little bit of help they need a place to do it safely they need a place to do it safely and they need a place where they know that not only are they safe but they have the support and they also have have everything that they need in regards to training, mm -hmm. entrepreneurship, parental right. skills, encouraging them to breastfeed, just getting back to the natural order. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately for us, Auntie Angie's house was completely burned to the ground a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. uh, we weren't even notified by the fire investigators. Wow. I pulled up with the contractor and mm -hmm. the house was completely gone. Wow. So we are going to stay there mm -hmm. um, in that location because it's very important to us that we contribute to the King legacy of life. So right. we want something that represents life in that area, but we're asking a community to get on board because this isn't something that we can do on our own. Right. Um, we want community support, but also we want the computer, the community to be a part of this saving life initiative because that's exactly what we're doing. Yeah. You said something key there when you say you wanted the community to be a part of it. So, uh